Lake Park is still fenced off. Today is uh, December 7th or 8th. And um, all these parks that the big concern that nobody could uh, use uh, because too many people were just filling the parks or abusing, now nobody gets to use the park. These things have been fenced off for the last couple weeks. There's no repairs. There's no use. It's just turned into almost like a prison camp. An empty prison camp. When just weeks before, or a month ago, this was full of people. And it was a community. And it was the people of Portland. Now we got law enforcement came in, riot squads, and nobody gets to use the park. And I guess we're all better off because of it. That's what they tell us. What a shame. Hello folks, here we are on Jefferson Street, Park Avenue. Now what I wanted to show you was um, the grass here in the park. Now, Occupy Portland was not in this park. Um, and yet, look at this. Um, you know, this whole place uh, needs grass. Uh, might need some sticks and oh, there's a few leaves. No, you know, we had a $19,000 estimate a few weeks ago. I'm sure it'll go up. But here's another thing I can tell you. We've had people in the community this past week say, we will write the checks to cover the cost. And so I'm, uh, I'm pretty encouraged by that. And again, that's the Portland way. And I'm, I'm hopeful that once we have an estimate that public spirited businesses, concerned people, and, and Occupy Portland folks are going to step up, we'll get some private funds and, and, and defray the cost of the, of the repair work. And yet, that's all we hear about, and nobody can go on uh, Chapman Square Park due to the Occupy people. But I wanted to point out today on January 6th, this is how the park looks around here. And it had nothing to do with the Occupy movement. We're looking at uh, Chapman Park here, and uh, it's still fenced off. Today is uh, January 11th. Um, the grass here actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, I don't know what, you know, I mean, it's not just a mud pit. There's actually some greenery in here. It's still fenced off, and uh, I just want to show this in a comparison uh, now that it's January 11th. Uh, I don't know why we still have uh, Bob wire and uh, fencing to keep people out of here. Uh, it makes no sense unless you're just trying to trump up the whole issue that the people protesting with Occupy Portland ruined this park. Uh, you know, if this is what our city parks look like now, then... Um, I guess that's what the mayor wanted. But, uh, here it is, January 11th. I'm kind of curious uh, what it's costing to put this fencing up. I know we spent millions of dollars on police overtime, um, and now we're spending probably thousands on fencing. Um, yeah. I'm going to quickly uh, shine the camera across the street here to another park, which... And I guess this park has uh, been totally ruined too, I guess. Um, Parks of Portland. Nobody can go in. Now what's interesting here, and I'm going to take us over there, is um, 
another park. There was three in a row here. And the third park is Terry Shrunk Park, which is um, about a block that way. So we're going to go over there and take a look at that. As you can see, there's uh, some kids over here playing in the park. This is great. The fences have been removed. This park um, is a federal park, and um, it was totally fenced off with riot squads and um, uh, federal agents with uh, chemical weaponry. It's a non-lethal? Yeah. yeah. I thought they are orange, but just not all of them, huh? Yeah. Just looking at what's going on, it looks pretty armed. Is that a, like a tear gas, probably, or tear gas? Yeah, just curious, because I'm a citizen and you're in my city, around my park, and kind of curious what's going on. It looks pretty heavy armored up. Chemical weaponry and... Uh, um, what ended up happening is the ACLU uh, sued them or filed a complaint to use the park. So uh, apparently uh, that opened up this gate and now people can use the park, which is great. Nobody's abusing it, kids are playing in it, and yet across the street here we still have uh, the fences. And that's a different story. Now we have to the left here uh, the federal took a lawsuit to get it back open and then we have uh, the Portland parks over here which are as of January 11th still closed down.